Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the very exciting Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now I also will be swatching all of the shades that I bought. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know what other reviews on like new and upcoming products that you guys sort of wanna get my opinion on because I love hearing what you guys have to say. So yeah, that's basically it. So let's get right into the review. So first, let's just get all of the basics out of the way. So these liquid lipsticks retail for $21. There are 16 shades in the collection and I have eight here for you guys to swatch So I have half the collection So as for the main claims it says that it is never dry shriveled or cracked and it has an opaque ultra matte formula So as for the colors that are in the line, I really really love them one thing that I think Too Faced did really well as far as the color line goes are the nudes that are in this line I think there is such a great variety of nudes something really for everybody which I really do appreciate there's some cool tones some warm tones some lighter colors some darker colors and then they have of course your typical brights like bright fuchsias and oranges like the one I'm wearing on my lips right now and then they have a few vampy colors as well so I really think it's a really nice like overall color selection for this line now as for the packaging I do really like it it definitely stands out from the typical like cylinder to Tube that you typically see with liquid lipsticks or even lipsticks or lip products in general This sort of has like a triangular shape to it, which is really really nice The only con that I would have to say about this packaging is that you probably won't be able to fit it in most acrylic Organizers because it is such an irregular shape. It's not like a typical square or circle It's sort of like this long rectangular shape on the bottom and as for the applicator It is a typical doe foot applicator really nothing special or fancy about it Okay, so now let's get down to the nitty-gritty and let's talk about the formula now the first time that I actually applied this liquid lipstick I was immediately really impressed with the opacity I find with liquid lipsticks that I have a little bit more of a brighter tone or even liquid lipsticks that are a little bit more pastel like this one over here it sometimes could apply just a little bit choppy on the lips but I find with this formula in one swipe you get a full intense color payoff which is amazing because it's really important not to layer this type of formula when you start to apply layer after layer after layer it will eventually start to crack and sort of like disintegrate on your lips and it will not be pretty so the key really to liquid lipsticks is just applying one really thin layer to get a, a really comfortable and long wearing application. As for the consistency of this product, it is very, very thin and watery in texture. The closest formula to this that I can compare it to is definitely the ColourPop liquid lipstick formula, but I do feel like these are a little bit less drying compared to the ColourPop. Normally I find with very thin liquid lipstick formulas, you're, it tends to be really, really, really drying compared to the more moussey formulas. And as you guys know, liquid lipsticks in and of themselves are just drying lip products. It's just sort of in their nature. So you really can't get around that if you do not like drying lip products products and I would just stay away from liquid lipsticks altogether because you're just not going to like them but as far as like the drying level on these liquid lipsticks in particular I don't find them to be that terrible you do definitely feel it on your lips like you feel a slight drying sensation they don't really feel like hydrating honestly I can't imagine really any liquid lipstick feeling hydrating on the lips but they are really comfortable like I was able to wear it for five hours straight without it really bothering me I mean sort of like nearing the end of those five hours I was like okay like I feel like I need to like take this off now but it really wasn't that bad if 10 was the most drying and zero was the least drying I would probably rate this probably about a six or seven now as far as the longevity of these liquid lipsticks this is obviously like the most important factor I would say that I'm able to wear these for a solid four to five hours before they start fading off so they do definitely fade off after a few hours but I find that they fade off very very evenly I do have a photo that I will insert right over here and this was after about four hours of wear and I did actually eat lunch with it still on it really doesn't look that bad and you just see a little bit of fading going on but it's really not terrible now there's one thing that I definitely want to note you really need to make sure that your lips are really well exfoliated before applying these I feel like this sort of also goes with with liquid lipsticks in general I put one of the colors on in the morning I went to class and when I looked in the mirror I had the most disgusting white line sort of lining the inner rim of my lips I was like oh my god I just had a 10 minute conversation with my teacher she probably thought I was disgusting so after I saw that in the mirror I quickly went to the internet and I googled why do you get a white line when you're wearing liquid lipsticks and it's sort of just the way that like your saliva and dry skin just sort of like attaches to it and it creates that white line and a lot of people said that it sort of just goes away as soon as you like run your finger over it so I did that and it did go away I have had this problem with a few other liquid lipsticks in the past didn't really know what it was I just sort of thought it was the formula but now I know it's because I didn't exfoliate my lips well enough the next time that I wore the lipstick I exfoliated my lips really 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 well and that didn't happen so it solved the problem 
Thank goodness. As far as these being completely transfer proof, I would say they are like 98% transfer proof. They are not really going to transfer that much, but when, for example, I kiss the back of my hand, you see just like the tiniest, like the tiniest bit of product transfer off. See when I kiss the back of my hand, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but you just see the tiniest bit of product. So now that you know all my thoughts on the product, let's move on to the swatches. And at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know my final verdict and I will let you know if I think these are hot or not. So the first color over here is called Mrs. Roper and this is a bright mandarin orange shade. I find that this goes on completely opaque even though it is such a bright color. Sometimes orange lipsticks can make your teeth just look a little bit yellow, but there's something about the tone of this specific orange that really just doesn't do that for me. This is me so pretty and this is definitely the lightest shade in the collection. It's just very, very light baby pink shade. I would say that this is definitely the streakiest of the ones that I've tried. Normally colors that are this light tend to be streaky. I also want to mention that this color um, is the color that settled the most in the fine lines on my lips. But if you have a lot of lines on your lips and you don't really want to accentuate them, then I would probably avoid this color. Next we have Child Star, which is a mid-tone nude, leaning a little bit more towards like the lighter side of the mid-tone nude spectrum. This is a gorgeous beige nude shade with a little bit of a pinkier undertone to it. This does not apply streaky whatsoever. It applies completely, completely opaque. Next we have Cool Girl, which I would say is just a darker version of Child Star. This is another gorgeous nude, definitely more on the cooler side. Next we have Sellout, which is definitely a lot warmer compared to the other nudes that we just swatched. This is a beautiful, just pinky brown shade, and I think it is just so flattering. Sometimes cooler shades can be a little bit difficult to wear, but a shade like this that's a little bit more on the warmer side is gonna look good on basically everybody. Next we have Queen Bee and if you like mauve purple shades <sighs> you need to add this to your cart like right now. This is probably one of the most beautiful just like mauve purple shades that I have in a lip product in general. I just think it is so pretty. So next we have Feeling Myself, which is a color that I wore in my Too Faced One Brown tutorial. This is a beautiful dusty coral shade. Really don't really have anything like this in my collection. I really like how it's sort of like a pastel coral that's not too pastel, so it's still very, very wearable. Like it doesn't have too much white in it. All right, so next we have Lady Balls which I know is a very, very interesting name. I would say that this is just like a classic true red. It's not too blue, it's not too orange, it's just like right in the middle. If you're looking for a classic red, this is a very, very pretty one. So as for my overall finishing thoughts on this product, if I had a Jamie Proof stamp, I would stamp it on this lipstick. I definitely give it a big thumbs up. I do really like them. That's it for my finished review and swatches. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know if you've tried out these liquid lipsticks, what you think. I would love to know your opinion, of course. Also, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. Now, today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial using Too Faced products.